Diane from Teach Pre-K. I just arrived at school for step one of my classroom setup in a little series of getting your classroom ready for the first week of school. Um, my classroom's super tiny. I have had it for 13 years now, and um, I'm just gonna kind of show you how I make the um, areas of my classroom as well-defined as possible so that it functions well and the kids really understand where the centers are. So here it is as I left it. I push everything. I've got old dirty linoleum. I push everything um, onto the linoleum side so that they can clean the carpets. Um, I know this is going to be my room every year so there's some things that I keep up. It's my alphabet line. I need to take that down. We build that during the year, so every time we do a letter of the week, uh, it goes up there. My permanent alphabet line is right there. Little theme bulletin board, number line, alphabet wall. Yeah, that bulletin board will be taken. So I'm gonna put some things together um, so I can set up a tripod and you can see how I set everything up. super quick. I've got pre-k cubbies here, preschool cubbies here, my sink, snack bins, sensory bin, art center with materials, writing center, math center with all my manipulatives and equipment, literacy center with literacy games and things to do, my rug, teacher stool, my desk, smart board, magnet board with my little reading area bookshelf puzzles block table building toys and dramatic play all done that took me i'll say about 20 minutes because i know where i want everything and where I've had everything in years past and I've tried lots of different things and this works out best. But do your best to have well-defined areas, especially your free centers. The kids know for sure this is dramatic play. They know for sure this is the block area. They know for sure this is where they can sit and read, play with magnets. Whole group area, of course, is the rug. Sensory area, art center, writing center, and their cubbies. So there you go. Okay, so that was step one. I have all of my tables, chairs, all my center furniture exactly where I want it. Now I can start putting out cubby labels, 
um, extra center ID sign, center tags, coat hook labels, and all that. So that will be step two.